You know, could you do it? Could you go a week without using anything with a screen? Yeah, not easy to do, but it's a challenge that some local elementary school students are doing as part of a nationwide event known as Screen Free Week. Now, WSBT 22's Danielle Kennedy is here. Danielle, studies have shown that more screen time can actually be bad for our health. Rick, on average, 8 to 18 year olds consume more than seven hours of screen media a day. That's according to the Campaign for Commercial Free Childhood. Studies have shown that all of this screen time can be linked to obesity or even affect kids' performance in school. A few years ago, Trustin, a fifth grader at Elm Road Elementary, decided he wanted to take part in a week long program to open the books and ditch the screens. You discover like a whole new like world kind of. It's like outside. It's like more open and like you're not just like focused on a string strain the whole time. Trustin is taking up the challenge again this year along with more than half of the students at the school. I'm not playing on my phone, iPad, tablets, um, watching TV or playing on a computer. So often the screens choose for us what we're gonna spend our time doing and before you know it you've spent your whole evening playing on the screens or you know just spending that time but we want kids to learn to get outside and to read and to discover all the wonderful things that they might be creative and discover things about themselves each student fills out a pledge card saying what they plan to do instead of using their screens i wanted to push myself to read more because i like to read but i don't i don't have that much time to do it normally so I really wanted to do that. I made my pledge to play outside and play with friends and ride my bike and wow. read more. It's a challenge that mom and dad agree with. They like it a lot because I'm not as focused on video games anymore. So they like me just like focusing on what my assignments and like getting outside and working out and all that. The students who were able to go all week without their screens get to have a brunch in the library. The school is hosting all kinds of events, like one this afternoon, an ice cream social, and a grandparents' night, and even a book fair. Yeah, and even get outside and play a little bit, right? <laughs> right. Let them be kids, right? <laughs> but it's going to be, it's not that easy to do, is it? You know, one little girl said today that her mom just bought her a brand new cell phone now that oh. she can't even use. And they were really excited to be on TV, and then they realized, wait, we can't watch it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You wonder how many parents or teachers might make an exception though just, yeah, just, just a little bit yeah. on the DVR maybe. <laughs> there you go. Daniel.